Well, good morning. On this sunshiny late winter day in southern Ontario, I probably shouldn't say good morning because you might be watching this in the afternoon or the evening or who knows when. Anyhow, the question of the day is, are old transistor radios from the 50s, late 50s, early 60s, whenever, uh, are they worth restoring? I don't know. I have a prime candidate here. Ta-da! It is a non-transistor AM FM radio with a broken antenna, mind you, and its brand is Coil. Model number unknown. At any rate, uh, I've already cleaned the case up. It was kind of grotty looking. Push buttons on top, volume control there, tone control, tuning control, and power switch, and AM and FM. So let's just get started. I'll be right back when I reset the camera. So hang on. Okay, well I'm back. I did a wonderful video showing all the parts that I have replaced and unfortunately I've lost it. It's gone. So I can't show all the tedium invested in removing the chassis and removing the various parts. But actually all that I have replaced are capacitors. Uh, resistors, I checked. Transistors, no. Um, it's amazing that they would work uh, considering they are both germanium and probably in excess of 60 years old. However, the capacitors that uh, identify as, if we can show it, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, I think, uh, oh sorry, this one and this one. All right, if you could pick those up. They are bypass coupling capacitors and they were bulgy and I didn't bother checking them or doing anything. Uh, a little explanation of what, how this is laid out, if I can show you. I have no schematic, I wouldn't even begin to know where to go to find one. At any rate, the layout's kind of standard. There's a separate board, which is here. Let's widen that out a bit. Okay. If we can brighten that up, I don't know. At any rate, uh, has the tuning gang, has only two transistors. One would be an RF amp, I presume. The other would be a mixer oscillator, I presume. All right. Uh, it's amazing if it works properly at all with just two transistors and switching to switch in and out the various coils so that we can get uh, proper tuning for AM and for FM. The IF has two transistors and whichever ones they are, who knows? I don't, I don't even begin to know. And because they are sealed, I will not even attempt to do an alignment. I'm afraid of breaking anything. There will be two IF transformers for each uh, band, and then a ratio detector transformer for the FM. There are diodes there that are, I believe that's the ratio detector diodes. I don't even know where the other one for the AM detector is liable to be. It's buried somewhere. And, oh, I see here, these. this is probably the ratio detector. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boy, it's a good source of uh, small replacement IF transformers if the repair didn't work out. Now, the audio stage is, again, fairly straightforward. There is uh, audio voltage amplifier AF amplifier there, and uh, it's coupled 
through to the output transistors which are very standard small current not high powered uh, output transistors there is the output transformer there's a diode that looks like a transistor that uh, is providing bias I presume all the repairs went or at least the part for replacement they went fine uh, the thing you need to watch out with old printed circuit boards is that it's very easy to lift the track, break the track off with use of excessive heat and I have to confess that I did that um, but the layout is so basic it's not crowded and you can usually see where the track comes out or comes off and you can bridge it with a piece of wire from the replacement part you put in. Uh, the uh, volume control and tone control is there the tuning gang is here. The front dial glass, which is actually plastic, uh, was broken and I hot melted it. I, I reattached it after cleaning it. The unit runs on four C cells, which add up to six volts. And that's it for the inside the switching, the power switching, and the uh, AM and FM switching, which will be switching not only the output of the detectors into the audio, but they will be switching in the various uh, coils. Uh, it's amazing, uh, they're so far away from that, that uh, coupling uh, and setup to, to make it a performer would be rather difficult. Remember, it's only nine transistors. If I can count them, we've got one, two, that's in the front end. 3, 4, that's in the IF, 5, 6, those will be in the audio stages, 7 and 8. Well, I'm missing one. That's interesting. <laughs> it's hiding or they lied. 1, 2, 3, 4, nothing up there. 5, 6, 7 and 8. And this I guess they call that nine transistors because I'll bet you that uh, it's a transistor that's been used uh, as a uh, bias diode. So that would make it the nine transistors. All right. Now the proof is, how does it work? Let's turn it around and we'll turn it on. We shall... There we go. It has a ferrite loop antenna. So it's obviously very sensitive to direction. And basically, especially during the day, for a We're not going to get much. All right, let's see what FM does. Two point three, the dock. Brought to you by Tyler Beckett. Well, that's Hi, doing I'm Tyler pretty Beckett, good. certified financial planner. Call me. See how many we can count up. Actually. I should be attaching some kind of an antenna to this because, as I pointed out, the, uh, the whip antenna, telescoping antenna, Three, my goodness. Four, five, winds were tropical storm strength, six, waves the height of two story buildings the games that we've made, putting seven. lives. Let's see if we can get our no, I'm not even in the shot. Sorry about that. My favorite 
station. Oh my. Let's evaluate your family's future together. That is our very weak and hard to get favorite FM channel, which happens to be a classical station in Hollywood. And there it is on this little radio. That's amazing. I forgot the count. Seven, eight. <laughs> Stick around for that. Nine. Well, considering we're in a building that's rather well shielded due to the renovation construction style and the fact that the whip antenna is broken. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. So, what do you think? The answer, from my perspective, is most definitely this radio for FM so far is producing as good or better results than some of my high-end multi-stage RF tuner receivers. Uh, they're very difficult to receive much quality signals in this area and my favorite station is sometimes impossible to receive on on my high-end techniques um, and I have a Kenwood that has five stages of uh, RF and uh, converter and oscillator tuning gangs and it doesn't do a lot better than this. Cloudiness with a high of minus one. And for Peterborough on the core, there's a mix of sun and cloud. The chance of rain showers or flurries today. The high getting okay. up to five degrees. So my verdict is, verdict is that it's well worthwhile to restore these. This is the second old transistor radio that I've restored. And the first one... Uh, was an AM only, about half the size of this. I've had it for years, and a good friend of mine, Bill, he um, had a transistor radio that was similar to that one, and it was not repairable. And he was disappointed because he wanted to sort of relive his youth. So I found this transistor radio, I did it up, and it performed quite well, so I gave it to him. So in thanks, uh, he gave me this. Uh, saying I could do whatever I wish to do with it and it's been sitting on the shelf for a month, two, three, four, a year, I'm not sure. It's been there for a while. So I finally dug it out and uh, started checking it over and now it's going to go into my collection and uh, maybe get used once in a while. It's certainly not high fidelity. Vote this way. Mr. Gelnow. Mr. Speaker, I abstain yeah. on behalf of the government of Canada. Mr. Gelnow, it's clear and relatively distortion free. I'm impressed. Well, good. Okay. Been Thank you for watching. About using this Happy repairs. Term is not uh, applying it to things that